You want to know if that's a star, a plane, or Jupiter glowing up there in the night sky? Distant Suns has the answer. This episode of App Judgment is brought to you by GoDaddy. Welcome to App Judgment Revision 3's mobile phone application show. My name is Patrick Norton and today I want to show you one of my favorite apps on the iPhone, Distant Suns by Mike Smithwick. Distant Suns puts an excellent map of the night sky right inside your iPhone or iPod Touch. It uses your onboard GPS to calculate your location and on a 3GS iPhone you can actually take advantage of the compass to align yourself with your position against the night sky. Using it is very simple. You launch the app and you'll get a screen that maps the locations of the stars you're facing north or when you're facing north. I wish my 3G had the 3GS's compass. You can use a single finger to drag the night sky to the direction you're facing. Use multi-touch with two fingers to zoom in on a particular part of the sky. Now, Distant Suns makes it easy to find heavenly objects. Just click on an object in the first toolbar and it will highlight its location on the map. The moon, the sun, click on the planet button and you can choose a planet or select the 3D rendering of the planet as it would look through a telescope. You want to go to a constellation, click the button, you get the idea. You're just going to have to turn yourself in the right direction, north, south, east and west, and then look up 90 degrees to the top of your azimuth, zero degrees is straight ahead, you get the idea. The second toolbar allows you to see what's up. Those are the planets that are currently visible above the horizons. The clear button turns off the outlines of constellations and the artificial horizons. If you hit the clear button the second time, it turns them all back on. Preferences offers an array of adjustments from turning on the borders of the constellations to the mildly hokey but very useful landscape images that help you figure out when you're trying to look below the horizons. There are markers to make the night sky look more like a star chart. You get the idea. Lots of stuff in here to play with. Identifying objects in the night sky, super easy. Just drag them into the crosshairs and you'll get the info in the bottom of the screen just above the toolbar. So, wondering what the paid version brings to the table? You'll find out right after the hot app of the day. Hey everyone, Eileen here with your hot app of the day. And there's a lot of world's first today. Now in case you haven't heard, Tweety 2.1 for the iPhone was just released and this update includes support of lists. You can also edit and add those lists. Retweets now have a red triangle next to the tweet on the right top corner. And these jagged teeth-like lines mark a gap between tweets since your last login. That's only a few of the notable updates. Very cool. Tweety is $2.99 in the App Store. Also, Fring has just enabled the world's first video calls for the iPhone and iPod Touch. But you should know it's only incoming video stream due to the location of the camera. Fring is free in the App Store. And finally, Android users have constantly been touting a free marketplace and open development. Well, guess what? It probably was only a matter of time, but Android users now have access to the world's first mobile adult app store. Check this out. MyCandy provides an open environment for developers to market, monetize, and deliver adult apps in their entirety and without restrictions. Now, up until now, adult apps were edited, censored, and rejected. In other words, all the life sucked out of them. MyCandy shatters those boundaries and gives you total freedom to finally offer the adult apps that your customers are dreaming about. All right, so I stole Ron's Android phone and I noticed that he downloaded it, the store. Um, there's only two apps on here and I guess that'll change soon. So Maybe he's embarrassed about it. App Judgment is brought to you by GoDaddy. GoDaddy.com makes it easy to customize your own virtual dedicated server, choose one of three popular plans, or select your own Linux or Windows server with all the plan options you need. When you order, use the code JUDGE13, that's JUDGE13 at checkout to get an additional 20% off one, two, or three year hosting plans. Do that and you support more mobile app reviews from us. Back to Patrick for more on Distant Suns. Chances are you're wondering, with all the features packed into Distant Suns Light, why would I drop $5.99 on the paid version? Well, a big one for me, the ability to change the date and time and accelerate the time so you can watch the heavenly bodies in motion. That means when you're stuck in your cube at 3 in the afternoon, you can figure out what constellations you might see at midnight when you're walking the dog, and of course what direction to look. Look, I like to know what I'm going to see when the dog's doing its thing. You also get more of those landscape images. A simple artificial horizon would be nice people, or I should say Mr. Smithwick. You also get a third toolbar that helps with navigation and more in-depth data about each object you identify. Check out the one for the sun, it's pretty cool. Now, I bet you can't guess if I'm going to call download or don't download on this one. Pros, Distant Sun's Light gives you a complete star chart in your pocket, 
easy navigation for astronomy newbies, and it's great for finding objects in the night sky and identifying something you see up there. What is that? The drawbacks? On older iPhones, you'll have to drag the screen to the direction you're facing to identify the night sky. So old school. And frankly, there's a whole lot of objects up there, so you can get a little lost if you don't take advantage of the nav tools if you want to say find old Venus up there. I say download this app. It's a fun tool for learning more about the night sky. And if you're like me and want to know what's going to be in the sky later on tonight, you should download the $6 paid version. Got an astronomy app for the iPhone that you think is better? I want to hear from you. Go to the forums and tell us what you think at revision3.com slash appjudgment. You can also find all the ways to subscribe to App Judgment while you're there. I'm Patrick Norton. This was App Judgment, and we'll see you next time.